Hey everyone, Darren again from Aussie Outback Supplies. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of our butchering uh, accessories. So we've got a bit of a range going on for the home the home butcher as well as the actual proper butcher as well or, or uh, meat worker as such. So I'm going to start over here with the meat cleavers. Uh, Dexter Russell do, uh, do a few in their range. I've got four. They've got a six inch, a seven inch, an eight inch and a nine inch. So as you can see over here, now the three larger ones, they're actually all made in the USA stainless steel. Then they've got the smaller one at the other end, which is that guy there. It's more of an entry level cleaver. So it's actually what part of the international series. So not American made, uh, but it is made to their high standards. So uh, you've got the six inch and that goes all the way through to then this guy here, which is that big nine inch you can see over here. That's 1.25 kilos of stainless steel meat cleaver. It, it's a hell of a beast. Uh, for the uh, for the people with some serious work to do. So that's your meat cleaver series. Whilst we're talking about uh, that butchering side of it, there's a whole array of different types of meat hooks here. So there's three different styles in this one here. You've got the gripped handle finish, gripped handle finish. You've got the, these are the Bar Brothers. You've got the round series, which is part of Dexter, which are all these products. Then you've got the flat finish on those three there. So it's three different styles in that, uh, that meat hook series. We have then the traditional two just simple grab handles with the hooks in the middle. Slightly longer and lighter gauge, slightly shorter, heavier gauge, basically. There's those two as well. There's a couple of specific styles of hook here uh, in a, uh, in, if you can see it, in, the, uh, in these two here. And then we go into just the traditional stainless steel six inch and the stainless steel eight inch. Uh, obviously the eight's a heavier gauge for obviously heavier animals and the six inch of some of those lighter animals. So they're available in the series as well. We then roll into the gambrel. <clears throat> so the gambrel obviously is designed to, uh, to hang the animals up. This size here is what they, they call the 13. So it's ideal for things like, you know, your sheep, goats, uh, any of the animals around about that sort of size and weight because of the, the, the width you've got here. Um, a little bit too large for things like rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you yeah, know, on a serious note, things like uh, like your goat and the sheep is the perfect for your home handyman or home butcher, I should say. And the last two items we've got are a couple of actual butcher buckets. So these are, are, are for the actual proper butcher, but they're ideal obviously for the home home butcher as well. That one there, if you can see through, you've got your two sleeves in there, the shorter and the longer. But if you do need that centre section comes out, which will then give you quite a long open space if you want to. <clears throat> that obviously also makes it easier for cleaning and they are an open straight open bottom which you can probably see there the uh, half round one here which has got the big loop on the back that one I should mention has also got the loop system on the top there so it can go through your butcher's loops uh, that one there's a really well made uh, uh, butcher bucket as well that top rubber ring just comes out for cleaning and there is a rubber stopper in the bottom like so which again comes out to make your cleaning a lot easier now just a couple of points on these they're not just a butchering product uh, i've had uh, one of these on my uh, boat sitting on the bait board basically uh, on the edge of the bait board and they're ideal just to drop your knives and steels your bikajimis your pliers whatever it might be fits in there um, and again easy just to tip it upside down mine just pivots off one one stainless steel bolt in the top so i can actually pivot it up down up, upside down drop that out to give it a complete clean and dry then just pivots back and sits on the side of my bait board and all my gear goes in there um, I saw a guy one day with slots in a bait board and the knives just sitting straight through and the blades exposed in the bottom. He was washing the boat and he was really lucky the back of the blade came across the top of his hand there. Could have easily been the other way, could have easily cut veins and we're about 20, we're about 20 nautical miles offshore. So it, it could have been an adventure to go on very south. Um, so you're yeah, having a butcher, a butcher buckle on the side of your bait board is a good idea as well. Um, that's our butchering, guys. Uh, I think that covers pretty much everything. Like usual, go to one of the uh, one of the local outdoor stores that uh, we deal with, and um, you'll see those on the website for your dealers. And uh, and yeah, check out all the butchering products. Take it easy, guys.